Hello, everybody, and welcome to today's Sefer portion. Today we're going to be reading Yevholim, or Jubilees, 3 and 4. Chapter 3, and on the six days of the second week, we brought, according to the word of Elohim, unto Adam, all the beasts, and all the cattle, and all the birds, and everything that moves on the earth, and everything that moves in the water, according to their kinds. And according to their types, the beasts on the first day, the cattle on the second day, the birds on the third day, and all that which moves on the earth on the fourth day, and that which moves in the water on the fifth day, and Adam named them all the, by their respective names. And he called them, so was their name. And on these five days, Adam saw all these, male and female, according to every kind that was on the earth. But he was alone, and found no help meet for him. And you have said unto us, It is not good that the man should be alone. Let us make a help meet for him. <laughs> and Yahuwah Eloheinu caused a deep sleep to fall upon him, and he slept, and he took for the woman one rib from amongst his ribs. And his rib was the origin of the woman from amongst his ribs, and he built up the flesh in its dead. And of his sleep, and on awakening, he rose on the sixth day, and he brought her to him, and he knew her, and said unto her, This is now bone of my bones, in flesh of my flesh, she shall be called my woman, because she was taken from her man. Therefore shall man and woman be one, and therefore shall a man leave his father and his mother, and cleave unto his woman, and they shall be one flesh, and in, their, in the first week was Adam created, and in the rib his woman in the second week. He showed her unto him, and for this reason the commandment was given to keep in their def defilement for a male seven days, and for a female twice seven days. And after Adam had completed forty days in the land where he had been created, we brought him into the Garden of Eden to, to till and guard it. But this woman they brought in on the eightieth day, and after this she entered into the Garden of Eden. And for this reason the commandment is written on the heavenly tablets in regard to her that gives birth. If she bears a male, she shall remain in her uncleanness seven days, according to the first weeks, sorry, the, to the first week of days. And thirty and three days shall she remain in the blood of her purifying, and she shall not touch any sanctified thing, nor enter into the sanctuary until she accomplishes these days which are enjoined in the case of a male child, but in the case of a female child, she shall remain in her uncleanness two weeks of days, <coughs> Excuse me. according to the first two weeks, and sixty days in the blood of her purification, and they will be in all eighty days. And when she had, a co had completed these eighty days, we brought her into the Garden of Eden, for it is holier than all the earth besides. And every tree that is planted in it is holy. Therefore, there was ordained regarding her who bears a male or a female child of the statute of those days, that she should touch no sanctified thing, nor enter into the sanctuary unto these days, for the male or female child are accomplished. This is the Torah and testimony which was written down for Israel in order that they should observe all the days. And in the first week of the first jubilee, Adam and his woman were in the Garden of Eden for seven years, tilling and guarding it. And we gave him work, and we instructed him to do everything that is suitable for tillage. And he tilled the garden, and was naked, and knew it not, and was not ashamed. <coughs> And he protected the garden from the birds and the beasts and the cattle and gathered its fruit and ate and put aside the remnant for himself for his woman and put aside that which was being kept. And after the completion of the seven years, which he had completed there, seven years exactly, and in the second month, on the seventeenth day of the month, the serpent came and approached the woman and the serpent said to the woman, Has Elohim commanded you, saying, Ye shall not eat of the tree of the garden? And she said, to it, of all the fruit of the trees and of the garden, Elohim has said unto us, 
eat but of the fruit of the tree which is in the midst of the garden, Elohim has said unto us, Ye shall not eat thereof, neither shall ye touch it, lest ye die. And the serpent said unto the woman, Ye shall surely not die, for Elohim knows that on the day ye eat thereof, your eyes will be opened, and ye will be as Elohim, and ye will know good and evil. And the woman saw the tree, that it is that it was agreeable and pleasant to the eye, and that its fruit was good for food. And she took thereof and ate. And when she had the first had first covered her shame with fig leaves, she gave thereof to Adam, and he ate, and his eyes were open, and he saw that he was naked, and he took fig leaves and sewed them together and made an apron for himself and covered his shame. And Elohim cursed the serpent and was wroth with it forever. And he was wroth with the woman, because she hearkened to the voice of the serpent, and did eat. And he said unto her, I will greatly multiply your sorrow and your pains, and sorrow you shall bring forth children, and your return shall be unto your man, and he will rule over you. And to Adam he said also, Because you have hearkened unto the voice of your woman, and have eaten of the tree which I commanded you, sh should not eat of thereof. Cursed be the ground for your sake, thorns and thistles shall it bring forth to you, and you shall eat your bread in the sweat of your face, till you return to the earth from whence you were taken. From earth you are, and unto earth shall you return. And he made for them coats of skin, and clothed them, and sent them forth from the Garden of Eden, and on the day on which Adam went forth from the Garden of he offered as a sweet savor an offering frankincense, gabanum, st stacked in spices in the morning with the rising of the sun from the day when he covered his shame. And on that day was closed the mouth of all beasts and of cattle and of birds and whatsoever walks and whatsoever moves that they could no longer speak for they had all spoken one with another with one lip and with one tongue. And he sent out of the Garden of Eden all flesh that was in the Garden of Eden. And all flesh was scattered according to its kind and according to its types under the places that had been created for them. And to Adam alone did he give the wherewithal to cover his shame and all the beasts and cattle. Sorry, of all. Cover his shame of all the beasts and the cattle. On this account it is prescribed on the heavenly tables, tablets as touching all those who know the judgment of Torah, that they should cover their shame and should not uncover themselves as the other people uncover themselves. And on the new moon of the fourth month, Adam and his woman went forth from the Garden of Eden, and they dwelt in the land of Elda, in the land of their creation. And Adam called the name of his woman Hua. <coughs> And they had no son till the first jubilee, and after this he knew her. Now he tilled the ground as he had been instructed in the Garden of Eden. <clears throat> Chapter 4 And in the third week of the, in the second jubilee she gave birth to Cain. And in the fourth she gave birth to Hevel. And in the fifth she gave birth to her daughter Awan. And in the first year of the third jubilee, Cain slew Hevel, because Elohim accepted the sacrifice of Hevel and did not accept the offering of Cain. And he, slew, and he slew him in the field, and his blood cried from the ground to heaven, complaining because he had slain him. And Yahuwah reproved Cain, saying of Hevel, because he had slain him, and <coughs> he made him a fugitive on the earth because of the blood of his brother, and he cursed him upon the earth. And on us can this account, it is written on the heavenly tablets, Curses he who smites his neighbor treacherously. And let all who have seen and heard so, so be it. And the man who has seen and not declared it, let him be a curse as the other. And for this reason we announce that we come before Yahuwah Eloheinu, all the sin which is committed in heaven and earth and the light and in the darkness and everywhere. And Adam and his woman mourned for Hevel four weeks of years. And in the fourth year of the fifth week, they became joyful, and Adam knew his woman again, and she bore him a son and called his name in Shech. For he said, Yahuwah has raised up a second seed unto us on the earth instead of Hevel, for Cain slew him. 
And in the sixth week, he begat his, his daughter, Azura. And Gain took Awan, his sister, to be his woman, and she bore him Kanach. At the close of the fourth jubilee, and in the first year of the first jubilee of the fifth jubilee, houses were built on the earth, and Cain built a city and called its name after the name of his son, Kanach. And Adam knew Hua, his woman, and she bore him yet nine sons, and in the fifth week of the fifth jubilee, she hath took Isur, Isura, his sister to be his woman. And in the fourth year of the sixth week, she bore him Enosh. And he began to call in the name of Yahuwah on the earth. And in the seventh jubilee, and the third week, Enosh took Noem, his sister, to be his woman. She bore him a son in the third year of the fifth week. And he called his name Kainan. And at the close of the eighth jubilee, Kainin took Maluleth, his sister, to be his woman, and she bore him a son in the ninth jubilee in the first week of the third year of this week, and he called his name Mahalalal. And in the second week of the tenth jubilee, Mahalalal took unto him to be his wife Dinah, the daughter of Brachiel, the daughter of his father's brother, and she bore him a son in the third week of of the sixth year and call his name Yurid. For in his days the angels of Yahuwah descended on the earth those who are named the watchers, that they should instruct the children of men and they should not sorry, and that they should do judgment and uprightness on the earth. And in the eleventh Jubilee Yurid took himself a woman and her name was Bracha, the daughter of Rahul. A daughter of his father's brother in the fourth week of the Jubilee, she bore him a son on the fifth week and the fourth year of the Jubilee, and he called his name Hanak. He was the first among men that are born on the earth who learned writing and knowledge and wisdom, and who wrote down the signs of heaven according to the order of their month and they suffer, that men might know the seasons of the years according to the order of the separate months. And he was the first to write a testimony, and he testified to the sons of men among the generations of the earth, and recounted the weeks of the Jubilees, and made known to them the days of the years, and set in order the months, and recounted the Shabbat of the years that we made them known to him. And what was and what will be in a vision of his sleep? And it will happen to the children of men throughout their generations until the day of judgment. He saw and understood everything and wrote his testimony and placed the testimony on earth for all the men sorry for all the children of men and for their generations and then twelfth jubilee on the seventh week thereof he took to himself a woman and her name was Edna the daughter of Daniel the daughter of his father's brother and in the seventh year in this week she bore him a son and he called his name Bethuselech and he was moreover with the angels of Elohim these six jubilee years, and they showed him everything which is on the earth and in the heavens, and the rule of the sun, and he wrote down everything. And, and he testified to the watchers who had sinned with the daughters of men, for those, for these had begun to unite themselves so as to be defiled with the daughters of men. And Hanach testified against them all, and he was taken from amongst the children of men, and we conducted him into the Garden of Eden in majesty and honor. And behold, there he writes down the condemnation and judgment of the world and all the wickedness of the children of men. And on the account of it, Elohim brought the waters of the flood upon all the land of Eden. For there he was set as a sign, and that he should testify against all the children of men that he should recount all the deeds of the generations until the day of condemnation. As he burnt the incense on the, of the sanctuary, even sweet spices acceptable before Yahuwah on the mount. For Yahuwah has four places on the earth, the Garden of Eden, the Mount of the East, this mountain on which you are this day, Mount Sinai and Mount Sion, which will be sanctified in the new creation for a sanctification of the earth. Through it will the earth be sanctified from all its guilt and its uncleanness, 
throughout the generations of the world. And in the 14th Jubilee, Methuselah took unto himself a woman, Edna, the daughter of Israel, Azrael, sorry, the daughter of his father's brother. And the third week, in the fourth year of this week, and he begat a son and called his name Lamech. And in this 15th Jubilee, in the third week, Lamech took to himself a woman, and her name was Betinos, the daughter of Berakiel, the daughter of his father's brother. And in this week she bore him a son, and he called his name Noach, saying, This one will comfort me for my trouble and all my work, and for the ground which you has cursed. And at the close of the nineteenth jubilee in the seventh week of the sixth year thereof, Adam died. And all his sons buried him in the land of his creation, and he was the first to be buried in the earth. <coughs> Excuse me. And he lacked seventy years and one thousand years, for one thousand years are as one day in the testimony of the heavens, and therefore it is therefore was it written concerning the tree of knowledge, on the day that ye eat thereof you shall ye shall die. For this reason he did not complete the years of this day, for he died during it. At the close of this jubilee, Cain was killed after him in the same year, for his house fell upon him, and he died in the midst of his house, and he was killed by its stones, for with a stone he had killed Hevel. <coughs> Excuse me. And by a stone was he killed in righteous judgment. For this reason it was ordained on the heavenly tablets, with the instrument with which man kills his neighbor, with the same shall he be killed, after the manner that he wounded him, and like manner shall they deal with him. And in the twenty-fifth jubilee, Noach took to himself a woman, and her name was Emzara, the daughter of Rachel, the daughter of his father's brother. In the first year, in the fifth week, in the third year thereof, she bore him Shem. In the fifth year thereof, she bore him Shem. <clears throat> and in the first year, in the sixth week, she bore him Yopheth. Well, that is today's Sefer portion. Until next time, may you all have a great night and a fantastic tomorrow.